Hey guys, I'm driving to my dojo right now, and uh, I'm actually under a lot of stress. Uh, I have three websites in work on, and two of, uh, one of them is not working at all. Um, it crashed, and I actually backed it up, but I can't get it to uh, back up. So I guess I have to call tech support and be on the phone for like an hour to try to get them to bring it back. Anyways, um, I want to shoot this video about running a martial arts school and being authentic and keeping your integrity and not selling out. So, and and how you need to prepare a paradigm shift and stuff like that. So, um, what I've been noticing is there's several ways to run a martial arts school. So, one way to run a martial arts school is let's just say you're a business owner and you see it as a way to make money. So you, you approach it very differently than another way, which is you did martial art for a long time and you're very passionate about it and uh, it becomes almost like your hobby, right? And you and you spend a lot of time doing it and you're making uh, you're building friendship and it's very enjoyable. And so what you want is you probably want to continue doing this and you probably open up a gym somewhere and you and you witness a little bit of success and you experience a little bit of success and then so what you want to do next is you want to expand on that but then somewhere along the line you hit a wall and so that's what's happening right now with me uh my, my gym actually has about i think around 30 maybe 35 members now so the last six months it has grown a lot because i moved to a new location it's a storefront location and so um it's it's really um it helps with my visibility. It's much more professional. Uh, when you drive by it, you see uh, the storefront, uh, three huge windows, and it's a former grocery store, so I really lucked out. So, I'm going to do something really different that I haven't done before in a long time. And basically, um, today is December 4th, and I, um, in about two weeks, I am going to actually have a promotion party. Uh, a belt promotion party. Basically, I never did that before. What I used to do in the past was when I started, when I thought a student was good enough, I just promote them. But the problem with that is that they don't, they don't make it. Um, we can't make it to a big ordeal for them in the sense that they can invite their friends or family to um, witness their progress. Right now, when I give out a stripe. Um, so what I usually do is I give out three stripes and then a rank, three stripes and then a rank. And so what I would do is I just give out a stripe whenever I see significant improvements, okay, or they train for a long time. And the, the problem with that is that if you're a child, you can't invite your friends or family to come watch you, right? Okay, so he, that's the problem from the consumer or from the student's point of view. But from a business point of view, we just, we or myself just lost a chance to tell my community or my students, friends and family about their progress and uh, make it to a big excitement, exciting um, event for them. So lately I've been having a paradigm shift because I've been um, watching and listening to a lot of different business videos and basically I realized that although A, I'm a martial instructor and my goal is to teach authentic, real life skill, life changing martial art, I also have to keep my students coming back. I also have to keep on feeding this engine, this my martial arts school so that I can generate an income from it. I can pay my rent, I can pay the insurance, I can pay my heat. And in one way, I need to wear many hats. I need to uh, be an entertainer. I gotta make sure everyone's happy and they're enjoying themselves. They enjoy their time. It's not a chores. I need to make sure that they are getting a lot of benefit out of it. Not just one benefit, but as many benefits they can. And I need to leverage that in the sense that they need to share it. With hey guys, I don't know what happened. Um, the, my memory card ran out. So. I learned something from Pedro's Kiyomu, and basically what he said was that you need to show results first 
then you ask your prospect, your client, or your student to t share the result that they have gone, um, gotten from you. Now, not everyone's going to do that, right? So the 80-20 rule, you help 10 people, only two will talk about your service. And so we got to somehow leverage the result that we create and let the world know. Now, it's not good enough when you say it. You need to have someone else say it, right? And that's called social proof. And the more affluent or more believable or higher status, social status that person is, when they vouch for you, the social proof just got more uh, valuable for you. And that means your business just got more valuable. So, um, December 20th, I will be um, having, for the first time ever, a belt promotion party. You know, I mean, it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, kids, the kids are going to um, have little games, or they're going to uh, they're gonna break boards, they're going to have some martial arts skills, and also they're going to um, break some boards, kick some stuff. The adults will get to spend five minutes demonstrating some of the techniques that you learned um, in the last five months at my new location, right? Because I got a whole bunch of new students. So they'll get to demonstrate some throws, some jujitsu, some moves, stuff like that. So um, hopefully I'll get a good turnout and hopefully I can get, you know, uh, a wider reach through this. So, um, why am I shooting this video? So I've been observing different martial arts instructors um, close to me and online. And I'm, there's one guy in um, England, he's like in his 70s, and he's so angry and upset. You know, he doesn't have a lot of students, but at one time he was on the cutting edge. And I think he's still on the cutting edge. It's just that um, in his mind, he automatically assumed that because he's on the cutting edge, that people should flock to his school. But he's so negative and he doesn't know how to market himself, right? And so what I'm thinking is this, it's not good enough to have a certain skill, expertise. You really have to get good at marketing. You really have to get good at selling. You really have to get good at being in front of people and telling people about your service or your expertise. If you don't do those things, people will know who you are and eventually you're gonna get jaded, you're gonna get really upset. It's this vicious, vicious cycle. So, this is why I'm shooting a lot of videos. This is why I put a lot of content online because I wanna get good, I wanna get comfortable being in front of an audience. I wanna get comfortable uh, talking to people. I wanna get comfortable uh, articulating my message. I want to refine my message. I want to make it more succinct. And the only way to do that is to practice, 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 and have low risk. You know, I can shoot thousands of YouTube videos, and I might have a troll, I might have someone say I suck. Big deal, you know what I mean? And um, it's the exercise, and the skill that's more important. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like my video. Uh, please follow me, please thumbs up. Uh, please like, uh, please reply with a comment, tell me what you think, all right, um, let me know if there's a subject matter that you want me to cover, and I will talk to you guys later.